Hey folks, welcome back to Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours, or as it is on Mondays in the last 48 from over the weekend. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a Zelda special because we got two big Zelda stories for you from over the weekend. One of them is actually a story we covered last week, but <laughs> YouTube, we got copyright claimed and I look, we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. For now, let's just get right into the news after you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoy this content we do this monday through friday so hopefully we'll see you guys at the end of this episode let's get right into the news So our first story deals with a canceled Zelda game. We've covered this before, this Heroes of Hyrule game that was supposedly pitched by Retro Studios to Nintendo. But now we have additional details on this I want to go over because Did You Know Gaming dropped their highly detailed video on this. And I really suggest you take the time to go watch it because there's a lot of good stuff in it. And we'll be using clips from the video throughout this description. But let's get right into it. And... Heroes of Hyrule was a Final Fantasy style tactics game pitched to Nintendo from Retro Studios in 2004. Link was not the main character, but was an NPC. 100 years ago, three heroes defeated an ancient evil and sealed it away in a magical book. This is how the story goes. For many ages, the people lived in peace and freedom, free of the scourge that had tormented them for so long, until one day when the book came into the hands of a young boy. 100 years ago, Ganon captured Princess Zelda. Link sets out to rescue Zelda, but Ganon's forces ambush Link and capture him. Three of Link's friends went on an adventure. Dunar, the Goron, Seraph, the Rito, and Krell, the Zora. Dunar is a rough and tough fighter who embodies the Triforce of Power. He is the strong and silent type, although a few words he does use reveal a surprisingly keen intellect for a Goron. Seraph embodies the Triforce of courage. She's patient, helpful, and warm-hearted. She's remarkably brave and fiercely loyal to her friends. She was the first to discover that Link was kidnapped by Ganon's henchmen, and she organized the heroes in their quest to rescue Link. Krell embodies the Triforce of Wisdom. He is the brains of the party, and he makes no attempts to hide that fact. Although sometimes he comes across as a cynic and arrogant wisecracker, it quickly becomes clear that his abrasive personality is little more than a mask, which barely conceals his warm heart and deep and abiding loyalty to his friends. After many adventures, the heroes defeated Ganon and rescued Link. Ganon retreated into a magical spell book called the Book of Ganon. The book is actually Ganon's spellbook, which he created as an instrument to enhance his evil power. Ganon infused this book with his own life essence, which allowed him to become much stronger when it's in his presence. After Ganon's defeat at the hands of the heroes, he cast his soul into the book, which allowed his spirit to live on in a badly weakened state. The heroes tried to destroy the book by burning it, but its pages would not catch fire. So the heroes decided to remove many of the book's key pages instead which would ensure that Ganon would never be able to become whole again. The pages were scattered across the lands of Hyrule, and the remains of the book were entrusted to Link. So then the game begins with you playing a young man named Cory who meets an old man running an antique shop. 100 years pass. The old man one day has to leave the shop in a hurry, and he asks Cory to watch over it. Cory eventually discovers a secret room in the shop where the Book of Ganon is hidden. He reads the book, which tells of the events that happened 100 years ago. The game takes place two-thirds in the past and one-third in the present. In the past is all of the Final Fantasy Tactics stuff, and the present is a more traditional Zelda experience where you play as Cory. In the present, there isn't any combat or dungeons, but there is an explorable town where you do a bunch of side quests. The purpose of those side quests is to retrieve pages of of the Book of Ganon, which Cory doesn't realize is evil. He simply wants to read more about what happened in the past, and every new page found unlocks a new event to play in the past. And as you can tell, there's a lot more to this story, and so I really encourage you to go check out the rest of the Did You Know Gaming video. They did really amazing work over there. They even commissioned a custom artist for a bunch of art pieces to help illustrate some of this story. It's well worth watching if you're into the history of canceled Zelda games. And yeah, the old man's link. I don't think that's uh, a shocker to anyone. Let's get into our next story. So last week we talked about how the runes inside Tears of the Kingdom's 
reveal trailer actually have been translated by Game Over Jesse, or at least a member of Game Over Jesse's team. And you look, Game Over Jesse finally put out a full video on it. Instead of some ramblings from my podcast, we now have all the full details. Now, look, I'm not going to go into how this person translated stuff. If you want to know how, simply go over and watch Game Over Jesse's video on the topic. Again, it's a 16 minute long video, and he goes really in depth on the process in which went into getting these translations. But I'd rather focus on the translations themselves. And if you guys want more information, you just dive deeper. So the first translation comes from the runes that are on the wall during that one art depiction. And it says, when the sun shines, the moon shines. When the moon shine, the stars shine. When the sun sets, the moon turns red. Daylight comes and goes, but the sun never shines. Obviously, the moon turning red is a symbol of the blood moon, but this is also meant to be a sort of unsolvable riddle, a zen cone, as it were. Uh, so there is that. Next up in the delay trailer with the shot of Link's glowing hand, there actually is the word obtain on the ground in the background. So that's just something to maybe keep in the back of our minds. I don't know what that means. Uh, there's a lot of speculation around it, but we're going to stick to what's been translated. Next up in the green dragons logo where the dragons are chasing each other in that logo for Tears of the Kingdom. There is actually text in that logo and it says meeting of lovers. Now, there's additional text as well in the dragons that are on the doors that Link opens up in the trailer that says Building of Counselors. Now, this is actually more of a rough translation, and most of this is exactly the same information I gave you guys last week. The reason that we're revisiting this is because that video got copyright claimed because we had a Google Stadia story in there with some clips from a Google Stadia trailer that Google owns that we got off the official Stadia YouTube channel, and a completely unaffiliated party decided to copyright claim that trailer and then they tried claiming when I disputed that oh we're not copywriting the trailer we're copywriting what you're reading well what I was reading was the official blog post on google.com for the closure of stadia daily.com does not own the rights to that blog post so because of that we got suppressed massively that video could have did much bigger numbers and was on track to before it got suppressed so we're revisiting the information today especially now that we have more exact imagery that we could throw with it thanks to game over jesse and thanks to his team so good work over there you guys can go check out his video and also the video on heroes of hyrule down in the description below i am nathaniel ruffle jance from nintendo Prime. i want to thank you for turning into this sort of special edition of prime 5 where it's just two stories all zelda but i hey i hope you enjoyed it look folks we'll be back at it again tomorrow and yeah peace out